In this video, I'm going to derive a couple useful facts about Laplace transforms. Uh, in particular, uh, I'll be able to say something about how the Laplace transform acts on the derivative or uh, first or second derivative of some function. And that will be very useful for the process of transforming an ODE it, uh, into an algebraic equation that we can then solve and use inverse transforms to complete solving the original differential equation. So let's say we have some function y of t and we call its Laplace transform capital Y of s. Sorry, we call its Laplace transform capital Y of s. So now we have some expressions that we can use in this calculation. So what is the Laplace transform of y prime? So Laplace transform of y prime of t, by definition, that's going to be the integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus st times y prime of t dt. And I'd like to write this in terms of capital Y or a Laplace transform of little y of t. So uh, we can do that by noticing that this is a really good suggestion or hint at a substitution or a, an integration by parts formula. So we can use this as our dv and this is our u. And we can write down that the Laplace transform of y prime <clears throat> is equal to, so now we have to take an antiderivative of dv and a derivative, well, first just antiderivative. So that means that we have e to the minus st times y of t evaluated from 0 to infinity. And that is the u times v. And then subtract from that the integral from 0 to infinity of, and now we do v du. Now du is just going to be minus s e to the minus st. That's the derivative of, of the e to the minus st. And then we have a y of t dt. So I've taken an antiderivative on this one and a derivative on that one. All right, so now uh, you'll notice this term can be simplified a bit. So the first one, so as uh, t goes to infinity, this expression will go to zero provided that s is positive. So from here on, we have to assume s is positive. That's our, our running restriction. And that gives us a zero minus, so we have minus e to the minus st, that's going to be 1, multiplied by y of 0. <clears throat> and then we subtract from that, well, actually, we're going to add s times, because we have two minus signs, the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st, y of t dt. Conveniently enough, this is exactly the formula for the Laplace transform of y. So we can now write down that the Laplace transform of y prime is s times the Laplace transform of y minus y of 0. And that's little y of 0. And this is true when s is positive. OK, so uh, how do we take two derivatives? Well, the Laplace transform of y double prime of t, that's going to be um, s times the Laplace transform of y prime of t minus y prime of 0. Because there I've applied the previous result to the function y double prime to get something in terms of y prime. So basically, I'm just plugging in y prime in place of this y here, here, and here. And now I can do the same again for this one. And so here I get s times, and now I'll put this in brackets, s times y of s minus y of 0 minus y prime of 0, which is still around. And so overall here I get an s squared times capital Y of s, the Laplace transform of y, minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And this formula is going to be very useful when we start transforming differential equations. So let me just illustrate that with a sort of general example. If we have a differential equation ay double prime plus by prime plus c times y 
equal f of t, then when I take Laplace transforms of both sides of this, by linearity, I can break this up into a times the Laplace transform of y double prime plus b times the Laplace transform of y prime. Oops. plus c times the Laplace transform of y, and that will be equal to the Laplace, Laplace transform of f of t. And so now we can apply the result we just found, which is we can replace this by an s squared uh, Laplace transform dot dot dot, so let's put that in. So we get an s squared y of s minus s y of zero minus y prime of zero plus b times s y of s minus y of zero, that's the first derivative, the transform of the first derivative, plus c times y of s, and that's all going to be equal to the Laplace transform of little f of t, so let's call that capital F of s. And now we're going to end up with an algebraic equation with here's a y of s, y of s, and a y of s. And so the rest of all these, in general, when we're solving equations like this, we'll go over to the other side. So what we have is a, oh, oops, there should have been a squared there. So we have an a s squared plus b s plus c. All those multiply y of s. And then we bring all the initial condition pieces over to the other side. So we get f of s plus a times s and then plus b or times, oh yeah, just b. Um, and all that multiplied by y of 0 and then plus a times y prime of 0. And then we get y of s is equal to f of s plus a s plus b y of 0 plus a y prime of 0. And we divide that all by a quadratic. a, sorry, a s squared plus b s plus c. So uh, you can see it, the general problem here that we have is, <clears throat> first of all, for any given little f of t, we have to calculate a capital F of s. And then for any initial condition, we end up with this numerator um, in the top, which hopefully we can calculate as long as we can calculate the transform of little f. And then it's all going to be divided by this quadratic down here. And so the rest of Laplace transform techniques are all focused on how to invert this Laplace transform and get back to y of t. And that will be covered in the rest of our videos.